Greetings, fellow Tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Elden Ring. Here we are again. T-posing in front of the Erd Tree. As is our right. Okay, we're not going to talk about what happened in the last episode, alright? We'll go back and deal with her some other time. For now, I'm more concerned about what's up here. And what's down there. We're going to grab ourselves that fire. Interesting. Do these... Oh, they're just smoldering butterflies. I thought they would be Aeonian butterflies. They're not. Alright, uh, one thing that I did off camera. That is, I went and go... And I went to go look at the remnants of the primeval sorcerers. Because Selen had said that they'd been moved to the academy. Which made me think, okay, is there? are we going to find anything where they were previously? And, uh... Well, we definitely did. We found their their armor sets. I'm honestly surprised that this is an armor set. Um, so this is the Crown of Azure, Primeval Current Sorcerer, set with a prominent blue-green glintstone. This crown replaced Azure's brain and skull altogether, and now removed from his body, it is all but dead. Whatever power remains within raises the potency of Azure's primal current sorceries at the cost of additional FP consumption. Lusat's set says the exact same thing. Notice this. By the way, let's just quickly put it on so that we can see it. Because I can't help but notice something interesting about it. That is an eye. Alright, and it looks an awful lot like the eyes. And I think somebody in the comments uh, mentioned this. But it looks an awful lot like the eyes that you see inside the very weird humanish skulls of the malformed star beasts, basically. The malformed falling stars. So the ones that hang from the ceiling and then also, um, what was her name? Estelle. And the other Estelle. Pretty interesting stuff. Um, but yes, anyways, we are wearing the, um, just a... Another sorcerer set. I'm keeping the current build, so this is actually the mostly int, but partially faith and partially dex build. So our, our stats are a little all over the place. Which is, uh, you know, probably not the best idea. But I like to have my variety. And this armor set looks pretty cool. Especially coupled with the, uh, the greaves of the Black Knights. Or the Knights Cavalry. I keep calling them the Black Knights. And then the, uh, the Confessor's Hood. Looks pretty cool. Like a, a fancy Nazgul. Got some bling. Alright, so I think we need to drop down to it right there. Yeah, look. there's Hey, there's a site of grace right here. What the hell? I totally did not see this last time. Oh boy, we almost we almost died. Alright, let's, let's activate this one. Alright. We have this going. So, do I uh, drop down? Doesn't look like it. How do we get it? What's the way down? We just run down the bowl? Like... Uh oh. What's the way down? I... How do we get down there? Like... No, this just seems to be like instant kill. Um, yeah, weird. Very weird. Forge of the Giants. Is there something to do if we rest here at this site of grace? Maybe... Ah, there we go. Okay. Listen to the sounds of flame. Well, let's do it. Sounds kind of evil. Not gonna lie. Come 
Oh, 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 very Dark Souls 3. I love it. Well, fell god, I think you're gonna get your vengeance on the Erd Tree. Uh oh. No stuttering, please. You're stuttering. Uh oh. Oh! 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 Thought we would have to go back to the uh, the door, the barrier. But apparently, we're just torching the thing from here. Your tree of flame. Now what? Will Melina forgive me? I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, guys. Why? This looks an awful lot like Farrah Missoula. What the fuck are we doing here? We must have gotten, like, lobbed up here. Speaking of, what can we see from here? Can we actually see? So that is a divine tower. Can we see where the thing was? The, the cauldron. Right? We should be able to see that, because that should be up there. I am looking the wrong way. Yeah, I don't see shit. I'm still looking the wrong way. Ah, okay, we need to go through here. Okay, so... Wow. I hope this place is less obnoxious than the Hallig Tree. I certainly want it to be less obnoxious than the Hallig Tree, because it looks... Fucking cool. Oh man. That we can go down there. Hell yes. I've been waiting for this ever since we first saw it. A cool looking area. This giant dead ancient dragon. You can tell it's an ancient dragon because it's got the hands and it's got the four wings. Just like Lanciax and uh, Ortisax. Alright, well, we have a way down there, and we have, um... I mean, technically, it, it would get us down, but not in a way that we would want, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh, okay. Down we shall go. Alright, let's 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 equip something that we can actually use. Uh, and you know what, let's, let's equip the Rikert's Rancor. Sounds, sounds fine. All right, so it is a, it is platforming. That being said, we haven't been attacked by anything that lobs us off of platforms or spams ranged attacks at us. So thus far, it hasn't pissed me off yet, which is which is good. This place is actually much bigger than it seems on the map. Like on the map, I mean, I guess that's the the size of the entire Hallig tree, and the Hallig tree was also pretty big. So, holy shit, though, this looks wild. Looks fucking wild. Okay, and this is... I'm just looking at the architecture, trying to see... Um, this this um, symbolism, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'll, I'll have to wait and see. Because this seems like it could be... Uh, controller disconnect. This seems like it could be um, something similar that's actually to the Nox designs a little bit. But... I don't, don't you think? Maybe a little? Maybe not, though. But it does seem like some of the stuff. Okay, we, we have, um... These are... Not new enemies. I, well, actually, they might be. They look like beast men. 
they look a little bit more ragged than the regular Beastmen, and there's a shit ton of them, so I hope it's not like the regular Beastmen. Let's try a Rikert's Rancor. See how this works. That did almost nothing. Let's try the regular Rancor. I mean, it's good stagger. I'll give it that. I think I need a more direct damage spell. Oh, Beastman's Curved Sword. Let's get it immediately. So that's what they're carrying there. I, I think I want to wipe these guys out before I uh, read anything. These guys must be kind of tough. Even that's not doing a whole lot of damage. All right. They do seem distracted, so I kind of want to try out this. Let's see what kind of damage this does. Pretty solid. Okay, they get up real fast, and they stagger you very easily. Okay, they're still pretty tough. These are regular beastmen. It looks like. They're just like flayed. But the other one's flayed. Ooh, nice dodge. Okay. Alright. They're pretty tough. These, these guys. Okay, some old fangs here. I'm actually going to switch to the peeler. Uh, and while I switch to the peeler, we can actually... Because I removed the um, Ash of War, so I'm actually using the Loretta Slash, and it's a keen peeler. So, and I want to do that because then we can use some of these things, which are fucking cool looking. Ooh. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the twin blade moveset. Okay, that, that wears off real fast, the black flame blade. But it's still pretty cool. Holy shit. Juice. Lightning proof dried liver. Um, so, since we have this stuff. Hold on, hold on. Just a second. I don't think we need the scarlet boluses here. Um, I do want to actually use a grease again. One though. We could use freezing grease. We could use rot grease. That's probably pretty good. Even no, you know what? I'm gonna use the freezing grease just so that we have we've got some options. We've got the black flame option. I've got no, I've got frozen armament. We don't need the freezing grease. Let's uh You know what there's dragons everywhere. Let's use dragon wound grease. Well, I can't remember if that actually helps against dragons. Alright, we have a sight of grace, that's good. Alright. Quickly rest here. See if there's anything to be found. Not. You know what? I didn't read the like actual robes of uh, Lusat or the other guy because we we got the the other the remnants of this as well. A robe reserved for the Grand Masters at the Academy of Rey Lucaria, corroded by blue green glint stones. Since the Grand Masters of Zura and Lusat were driven from the Academy, no one has achieved their formerly held rank. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Man. <laughs> okay, so this is very clearly an indicator that, um, that these entombed beasts in the walls, this is very much um, the architecture that we actually found in the Bestial Sanctum. And also the area around the Bestial Sanctum. Which, these, which has these weird, like, radial structures, um, these towers, these like towers radiating out from the central structure that look out over the sea, which is also very similar to what we find in the Hag Tree, though it's, or the Halleck Tree, though it's much more pronounced in the Halleck Tree. So, I think I referenced it already, that I feel like the Halleck Tree was made in an imitation of the architecture of the ancient man-beasts, which is, I'm guessing, what this is. Okay, so this is Smithing Stone 6 territory. This place may be of, uh, a high. You're a dragon. How are you doing? I target him correctly? That'd be great. Okay, uh, I don't know about this. Let's, let's move under him. I don't know what he's doing. Let me actually look and see what he's doing. Okay. You don't even have a name. You're just a, a dragon. Just, just one. Okay. What you doing? I don't like it. 
I don't like it at all. Okay, we survived that, so that's good. Um, let's actually use... Fuck. Not what I wanted. There we go. Let's do that. And then let's heal again. Okay. I'm not used to fighting these on foot. I also can't target the arms. I I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I didn't heal. Should have healed. Alright, we're good. I really have trouble seeing what it's doing. No. It's gonna it's gonna spit. Okay, this is alright. Jesus, that goes everywhere. Okay, want it to heal. Alright, pal. This is... I don't know. Not the biggest fan of this encounter, mostly because I just can't see what's happening. I, I literally can't see what's happening because of the uneven surface that we're fighting on. If we were fighting on an even surface, I could see what he's doing on the ground. I could see where I'm going, but I can't. Like, it's a cool enemy, for sure. And if I could fight it while mounted, I think I would enjoy it, but... The fact that for some reason you can't lock onto the legs, and that the center of mass is like up in its m like much higher than on a regular dragon, it basically means I can't see where I'm going, and it's so big that the arms just spread out too far. I can't see what the arms are doing. I can't see what the head is doing unless I'm targeting the head, but when I'm targeting the head, I can't see what the rest of the thing is doing. So, yeah. Let's try it again. We don't really have anything on the line, so might as well just go on in. Gotta stay on it, I think. A little bit difficult. Alright. This arm really seems to move a lot, too. When, when you hit it, it just, like, jolts around. Yeah. Okay, I don't even know what it's about to do here. It's spitting. Do I run past this, or should I should I be fighting it? Maybe I should also try and fight it from range. Maybe this is also not the best weapon against it. Going the wrong way. Um, I wonder how effective the black flame is going to be. I would assume probably not terribly effective. This weapon's also going to be way too short. Though, I guess we could try it for its Ash of War. Yeah, that does a ton of damage, actually. Not a bad idea. Let's hit it with this. See, it, it, yeah, this... This lightning... I literally can't see what's happening. I have zero... What do you guys think of this encounter? You guys having the same trouble? Like, I had no issue with Lanceax, because when you're mounted, you have a much farther out view. Like, I, I haven't really had this issue with any of the other dragon encounters. And I think part of, part of that is to do with this uneven surface. Of the way how it just kind of slides around. So, honestly, I'm just gonna... Where? 
And then we have all of this lightning that is just coming from the sky. I don't know how you're supposed to be able to dodge that. If there's some sort of, uh... Hey, that, that one I could have dodged. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'm summoning... Summoning Taiki for this. I, I... I can't tell where I am while I'm looking up at it. <laughs> if I'm not looking up at it, I can't tell what it's doing. Yeah. Wow, she's just straight up dead. Okay. Oh, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of juice. And probably also out of life in just a sec. Hold early. That was my fault. Jesus. That was fast. Okay, that's better. Get it with this. I don't know if this is gonna even do anything. I think it hit it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I hit it. Actually, I dealt a ton of damage. Okay, I'm getting, like, turned around as it's rolling. Or as it's moving, which is very problematic. I'm trying to, like... Okay, that was good. That was very good. A lot of damage. Let's do it again. Okay, it's not gonna work. Almost got myself killed there. Probably gonna get myself killed. I think it's about to breathe on me. It's not. Doing something else. That's fine. Can I double heal, please? what I was trying to do, but apparently it was like, nah. Can't see it. Can't even lock onto it. Okay. Alright. Okay, that was fine. I got lucky. I was in the right place. Please die. And it's dead. Okay. Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Alright, I honestly hope we don't encounter too many more of those. It's cool that there's dragons here. It's uh, all well and fine. But, yeah, that that encounter was a bit wonky. Alright, I'm going to grab uh, this item here before we do anything else. Only 32,000 runes as well. We get some dragon wound grease. Not sure if dragon wound grease is... Let me, let me read what it actually does. Instead of just using it. Yeah, it has anti-dragon effects. When dragons were born from the, their ancient kin. They lost their stone scales, which can now be used to cause them mortal harm. Alright, well, maybe I should keep it. It didn't seem to do a whole lot when I used it, but... I guess I'll keep it out. Alright, we got a smithing stone 8 and immediately another sight of grace, so that's at least nice. How many runes, kind of, or we're not getting many runes from this, which is kind of leading me to think that we we're actually supposed to go to this place a lot earlier. We got more beastmen. This is a shield variant. I don't think I've fought a shield variant of one of these before. We have more of these crypts. These bestial crypts. Ooh, hello there. I did not see you. Hey. Oh, I want to get out of the room. Okay. Not bad. Alright. That went okay. Just keep going. I used the flask. That's fine. Otherwise, I just have to fight them again. Let's, uh... What do we get here? I think stone 7. And can we see anything from out here? We can definitely go down there, and this looks like a place we could jump up to, actually. Let's do that before we head down the other direction. Damn. Wow. Yeah, so there it is. Alright, that's interesting, because we went from there all the way to the other side of Faramazula, and this place is actually lower than Faramazula. Um, 
But it should be noted that you cannot see Pharaoh Missoula from anywhere aside from the Bestial Sanctum. Though I don't remember seeing it from the Bestial Sanctum either. And look at that, the Earth Tree is on fire. Alright, what do we got down here? Death. Alright. It's not. And here. Can I get to this through a different way? Ooh, I see something. We got out here, but we can probably go around. No, we cannot. There doesn't seem to be anything to drop down there either. Um, you know what? Let's just go down normally. I think this is going to link up to that area anyways. Hello there. Ooh, looking pretty cool. Lightning Great Bolt. Alright, let's deal with this one. Alright. Hey, you're like quadrupedal. Anything gonna jump down at me? Mm, don't feel entirely safe. Yeah, you're unarmed. Interesting. I love the twin blade moveset because of how like rapidly you can attack. Okay, I'm not looking what's behind me, which is probably a mistake. Maybe there was nothing behind me though. You gonna come out? then. Oh, a heal. We can go out that way, or we can go down. What do we got out here? This was, I think, under where I was. Yeah. No, I was up there. Okay. Interesting. Golden Rune 12. I mean, it's something. about to be like, was that where you actually warp in? I think this is where you, that's where you warp in with the, uh, no, we are farther away from the main thing, I think. I don't know. All right. Um, don't look like an invisible wall, but then again, I also don't know what invisible walls might look like here. Okay, so this is very much like the Bestial Sanctum in its appearance. And that does indeed connect with the outside, so that's good. Ooh, okay, interesting. That is a priest of some kind. Like a, a Bestial Dragon Priest or something. It's doing lightning. That's pretty cool. There's three of them down here. Ancient Dragon Prayer Book. All right, that's that. I hope gives us some good lore here. Have some, have some swarming flies, just for you. Yeah, you can have some too. Ooh, nice dodge. Wanted to get up here. Whoopsies. Here. God damn it, dodgy little bitch. Kill it before the other one shows up. Alright, good. These guys are... I was gonna say much more cautious, and then it goes and does something like that. <laughs> uh, heal? Maybe? Yes, maybe? Oops. Nice. Okay. These are pretty okay as enemies. I, I rather enjoy fighting them, actually. You know, they present a threat if you... Basically, leave yourself exposed. They can go into one of those nasty combos, and... I don't know, I'm assuming they can probably just straight up kill you if you're caught in the wrong place, because they can definitely stagger you down. But you can also just wail on them. So if you get the drop on them and jump into it, you can take them out before they can really do much to you. Okay, this is... Fucking cool looking. <laughs> ah, damn. Alright, we got an item there. Grab that, and then let's go back. I'm not resting, because that'll respawn the enemies. I'm just gonna grab this. Somber, somber Stone Miner's Bell Bearing 4. Alright, that's could be useful. First off, the prayer book. 
I also am interested in what we might get out of the prayer book. I'm not playing a dragon priest or anything. Thematically. Thematically, I'm still going kind of the death cultist role. So speaking of which, maybe... No, I'll, I'll rest later. Um, but I kind of want to switch my stuff back out into the death cultist. Um, here. Where the hell is the prayer book? The items, right? Yeah, here we go. Prayer book of the Capital's Ancient Dragon Cult. It was strange, the Capital's Ancient Dragon Cult. Kind of implying Laindell. Why is that here? A lost tome that never reached the lands between. Oh. Ooh. Implying not Laindell. Contains red lightning incantations. Ancient Dragon's Lightning Spear and Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. Oh, I like it. That implies this was in fact an ancient capital because it never reached the lands between this is not part of the lands between we're floating in the sky implying that is not referring or referring to Landell at all it's very interesting okay we have a we have a lift here what is that gonna take us down apparently Okay, so we have this lift to take to somewhere. I can hear noises. Hear all kinds of noises. Very growly, unpleasant noises. What's this the flaming brazier? What do we got up there? Are we gonna get attacked by, like, flying? More flying, these smaller dragon looking things? Actually, I have no idea how big they are. We have no frame of reference for how large these are. What I do know is that they're the more regular dragon variants, so not the ancient ones, not the ones with the forearms. But that could just be what we just fought. What the fuck is going on down here? What? Oh, I know what they are. Should have recognized that by the noises. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, this is huge. Because this connects them, these fucking things, the worm faces, to Faramazula. Remember, the worm, the worm faces spread death blight, which is something that's intrinsically linked to Godwin. Or at least, I would assume it's intrinsically linked to Godwin. Oh boy. That is doing nothing. I am fucked. I am fucked. I have to fight these like this. They, they hurt too. And I'm stuck. What was in its mouth? What did I just... Ugh. Ugh. Oh, God. No. It's spitting maggots at me. And I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm dead. I live. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's use one of those. <laughs> and let's equip these. So that that doesn't happen, dear lord. That was that was close. Um, instead of the kukri, I kind of feel like I should be using my uh, some of these consumables a little bit more. So I think I'm gonna equip it in addition to the kukri. So we're just gonna get the death blight here. But goddamn! And there was some fulgur bloom here, which is interesting. So that has to do with lightning strikes. Wonder if these guys have anything to do. With that, I don't think so. Oh man. So we got we got Death Blight, which makes me want to actually equip for Death Blight. Give me that Death Blight resistance, just so that I don't have to worry quite as hard about it. I'll keep the uh, the gauntlets and the leggings. Actually, no, I, I'm gonna keep these uh, the Black Flame gauntlets because they look pretty cool with this. All right. The leggings don't really work. Do the gauntlets work? Or should we be trying eccentric manchettes? No, that looks weird. Um, slides? That looks kind of alright. That looks a little weird. You know what? We'll go with that. And um, leggings-wise... Thanks, cavalry. Yeah, we'll just... 
don't know, the, the full greaves are just kind of weird with this. So maybe I'll, I'll actually put on, uh... Right, there's no, uh... There's no actual, like, pants for this set. Well, okay, thanks to the meme community, there are, but they're not in the game <laughs> for various reasons. Be like destined death. I don't take much damage from it. Oh boy. Uh, that's concerning. Stuck. Stuck there. Let's, uh, come with this. Good work. Oh. Do you like, uh, do you like ice pots? Just trying to. Not find out what they're weak to. That actually dealt a respectable amount of damage to it. He also just dealt a respectable amount of damage to me, too. Okay, I don't like you vomiting on me. Just in, on principle, like, in general, I don't like things vomiting on me. But especially you, with your, with your maggots. Which is kind of gross. Real grody. Oh, good. We got ourselves a second one. That. Ah, that's why I did so much, because we just instantly procced uh, the frostbite. It was actually a frostbite proc that did that much damage. Ow. Rolled right into it. Okay. Take him down. Die. Roll away. Roll out now. Oh my god. We are so close to dead. You better not show up. Don't come here. This is, uh... This is hard. <laughs> this is difficult. No. No. Target him. Yes, thank you. Okay, effective. Go away. Oh, he's just showering. He's just showering it down on me. Thank you very much. Actually... Oh, God. This is, this is terrible. Can we make these, these rejuvenating boluses? What do we need? Oh, we need golden centipedes to make these? Are you fucking shitting me? That's a non-renewable resource. To my knowledge, anyways. I don't think we can get them anywhere. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Oh, boy. Can I backstab them? I, I'm getting the sneaking suspicion that we can't backstab. Confirmed. Not a thing. Pull away. I'd rather risk the damage than, uh... ...than the Death Blight, because I can't get more, uh... Can I quickly run through this? It seems to wear off really fast, at the very least. Come with this again. Alright, that should do it. Thank you. Okay, note to self. We cannot backstab them. Expecting that we couldn't, so what I'm gonna do instead... Oh god, they're disgusting. Is do that, because dear lord that is effective. That is a one-hit kill. Somber Smithing Stone 9. Alright, that's good. There's a couple of other weapons I want to try out before the end of this playthrough. Hi. How you doing? Let's get him with this again. Yes, please. That is how you deal with them. Holy shit. Oh, excuse me. Fucking dogs. Where did you even come from? Did you climb down this goddamn ladder? What else is here? So we can go further this way? Is there going to be a cave? Or is this just a... Well, outcropping. A ledge. This place is a very ominous atmosphere. Which I like. I like myself an ominous atmosphere. Alright, I'm taking the ladder. We're going up. I don't know what else we're supposed to find here. There didn't really seem to be a reason to come down here. At least I didn't find any unique items anywhere. It's kind of disappointing. Then again, I feel like... Yeah, look at that. I didn't quite approach this the right way. 
We can definitely get over there. If we ever stop climbing, that is. Where the fuck are we now? Oh, hi. More of you. So unless this is something, which I feel like this might also be something of import. So let's try and sneakily finish this guy off. Okay. Away. A little bit too much death blight. Never gonna stop. I mean, I guess we got a somber smithing stone nine out of it, which you know, it's nothing to sneeze at. That's fair. But I don't see anywhere else to go from here. I'm gonna quickly run over back to here and see if there was a place that I could drop down from this side. There is. That's how you get to the other one. And, ah, that is that is one of the big versions. That is a boss version, which I'm going to have to deal with with five flasks. Oh, boy. Or you can hear my excitement. Like, unless there's a Sight of Grace here. Which, uh, expecting that there probably isn't. Okay. We can just make this on a run. Yes. Good. I have to imagine we can jump down from up there as well, but I don't know how to get to... Oh! <laughs> Sitting up on top of that tree for a second. Funny. Okay, so we have to be wary of dogs. Apparently they're around here too. And there are two small worm faces and a big worm face. Which sounds like an awful, awful, awful combination. That I do not want to deal with all at once. No thank you. Go up here first, so actually we can walk up here, which is interesting. Get like a sight of grace up here. That would be great. I've been here. Haven't I? Yeah. This is just like reconnects back with the original place. Weird. Strange design. Not really sure why. Did I go up this way? Pretty sure I came from this way, but what was out here? Was there anything out here? That's where I came from. I looked down here, but there doesn't appear to be anything down here. It was whatever's that way. That also looks like an arena. Right. Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, can I make that? I don't think so. I think I have to jump to this one first. Man, fuck this already. Dear lord. What are we gonna fight here? Another dragon? This would be a shit place to fight a dragon. Just an item? No, right? Dragon. Oh, delightful! Yay! Yeah, this is great. I fucking love it. Alright. Oh, wait. If you spit... Okay, actually that worked out. Okay. Surprisingly. Damn it, I wanna do, uh... Okay, can you not do that? No! No, no, no! <laughs> Holy shit! That almost knocked me off the side. That would've knocked me off the side. Oh my god. I should have come here first. This is bad. Oh boy. Hmm. So we've got two not great options. Both of them involve running through this place again. I wonder if we can sneak through? No. Will they de-aggro? they de-aggro, we should be fine. If we can escape from them, I'm gonna be happy. Ooh, hello. Just you. Heroes Rune 2, oh hi. 
Uh, we need to we need to descend, which involves this thing. Okay, we can. We just need to prepare a little bit better. Is it just one? Okay, I'll take one. Yeah, so th these guys are, are pretty cool enemies, actually, because they, they, they can get away from you, and they can close the distance back to you pretty quickly. All right, this isn't such a bad run. Platforming is a little bit uh, stressful, but it's not the hardest platforming by any stretch of the word. Send this back up. First off, what's under here? Ooh, it is one of these, so maybe we're gonna... There's gonna be, like, a secondary door? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, back we go to this fucking dragon. Um, can I summon here? That's the question. Can I make this? I can. All right, can I make this? All right, I feel way more comfortable doing that platforming than doing the smaller jumps. Because uh, if I can summon here... Hold on, I have another idea. Like, that was super effective. But... Really... Oh, I can't wield this. I can only wield it in two hands. That's fine. Um, keep the, the deathbed set a little bit. Ooh, I, I look hideous. Look at that. Look at that fucking arm wound. Or the, the back. Alright, we'll, we'll put on something else here. That one, maybe? Back to the bubble build? Probably put pants on. Right. Gauntlets. You know what? I kind of like the gauntlets, but we can go with the more silvery gauntlet style. What about uh, the ones we got off of uh, Loretta? Where were they? Oh no, that was the Royal Knight ones. Let's actually put on the Hoslow gauntlets. They look they look alright with this. Okay. Um, so, yeah. If I two-hand it, it'll work. And um, we can summon the Bubble Squad. And we'll show this dragon what's what. Ooh. We have her, too. I haven't upgraded her, but I want to. The Clean Rot Knight Finlay. I actually want to try and use her against Melania and see if there's going to be any interesting dialogue. Because sometimes, like, we've encountered two places where we've had summons actually interact with the world. Um, and I already tried the, the Kindred of Rot, and that didn't amount to anything. But I wonder if we can... Because Clean Rot Knight Finlay saved Melania. I wonder what would happen if we summon her to fight Melania. Would she turn on us? That would be hilarious. <laughs> Uh, where's the bubble squad? Seriously, where is the bubble squad? Um. Why am I... Ah, here we go. I don't think I can summon here, guys. I think I just have to fight this. Alright, where do you come from? All right, so no bubble squad. We just have to fight him manually, but that's fine. So we're gonna we're gonna get him with the. Uh... Yeah, that was solid damage. Let's just do it again. Oh yeah, right in the face or the underside. Sorry. Okay, I don't like this because he's trying to knock us off the side, which is real rude. Okay, that was uh, that was my bad. Let's try this again. We have the opportunity to actually like use this. At the very least, he doesn't seem to be using the lightning. Oh yeah, take that. Right in the groin. Right in your dragon nuts. Bubbles OP. Dear Lord. Just fucking floored him. One heal. Man, one does not mess with the terror that is the bubbles. We are unstoppable. Let's go destroy all of these uh, worm faces again. I bet, I bet they they won't even see what hap what's coming. They have no idea what's coming for them. Watch me get like killed by gravity. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm gonna get killed by gravity here. I, I didn't. I just always assume that it's gonna happen because platforming in these games just feels so. <sighs> oh, it it like lagged there for a second. I saw my runes flash before my eyes. It was terrible. Just terrible. Okay. 
Now, I would like to avoid most of them. But I want to test the bubbles here. That didn't work out as planned. Okay, he's vomiting everywhere. That's fine. So this is going to give us ample opportunity to unleash the bubble apocalypse. It was reasonably effective. Oh my god. When you get the full business on them, holy crap. Okay. So realistically, to get to the other worm face, up the one that we can get to up there, we only need to fight one. We can ignore the other ones. Which is... never mind. We can probably ignore this one. I mean, we can definitely ignore him if we just give him this treatment. <laughs> it fills me with the maniacal glee. <laughs> All right. I'm just, I'm so disappointed that this didn't work against Melania. That's really... Really a shame. So we can go... All the way down here. I want to just check to see if there's like a Sight of Grace down here anywhere. That would be nice. But I don't see anything down here. Which leads me to think that there's going to be something, like an ambush, creature, hidden. Like, we haven't been picked up and portaled by any amygdalas in this game yet. And, you know, while the chance of that happening is very low, I don't think it's zero. Oh, hi. I see you there. Ugh, disgusting. Okay, juice. You're gonna have to come out here. Die. Alright, sacrificial twig. Hey, they dropped sacrificial twigs. That is interesting. Let me read the lore on those again. Because I'm still at a loss for what the deal with these things are. Because we found them in Lanedell. Around... A rotten Erd tree. We found one in Mount Gelmir near a dead Erd tree. This place, it's got nothing to do with the Erd tree. This is Faramazula. This probably predates the Erd tree, I would even go so far as to assume. So why are they here? Um, but yeah, sacrificial twig. That is right. It's a talisman, technically. I even have two. A talisman fashioned from a dried twig, so slender it might snap at the slightest touch. Believed to be a twig pruned from the earth tree long, long ago. I wonder if these are like... Because they're made out of worms, right? I wonder if they're like signs of an infection on the earth tree. That they're here implies that they're very old worm faces. That this isn't actually a new thing. Which maybe means that Death Blight predates Godwin. And Godwin is merely like a vessel or wait a minute so for the death blight the death because we know death has been contained in the rune of death it's also contained in the black flame and it's also contained in the ghost flame the ancient ghost flame which was used by the death birds um knuspa brought you gave a very nice kind of timeline for the various different stages of death i gotta wonder is death an outer god? Or is death the force associated with an outer god? I'm assuming not because it's something so intrinsic to life. But what if it is? That would be very interesting. I am at a loss for what I'm supposed to do here. Because I do not want to fight three of these fucking things. Especially not a big one. Maybe... You know, this was fairly effective if I can disable one of them just with this. Crikey! We've been had. Run!
Are they after me? Uh, signs point to yes. The way how that thing advanced on me, that was one of the most terrifying things I have fucking seen in this game. That thing moves so fast. <laughs> for being so big. <laughs> Holy shit. That was horrifying. That was pure nightmare fuel. Alright, we need to heal. I, I know I could exploit this, but I'm also, like, on the verge of death. Ow! I'm on, on the verge of death again. Oh, god. The way how this thing moves is revolting. Have bubbles! You like bubbles? I don't think he likes bubbles. Oh, no, his, his friend is here. He's trying to grab me. Don't think that I didn't notice that. Uh, a little bit of graphical uh, glitching there. I think I was supposed to get eaten. Oh, God. I got, like, chills. The way how that thing just rushed me there. That was... <laughs> that was fucking terrifying. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Let's try that again. I think I can beat them. Uh, I think the correct way of doing it is to get rid of one of them. And the uh, the Deathbird Fire Poker seems to be pretty effective. I actually, maybe I should be trying the Deathbird Fire Poker against the big one, too. So, that, I think, has even more setup time than the Bubble Cannon. So, not sure. This may be the better option. Just use the Bubble Cannon. Um, now, can I avoid the one that's here? I think so. So if I could just sneak past these ones and only have to worry about the one up there, that would be great. So there's that one. Can we just go past it? We sneak? Y'all shit! Well, so much for that. Have bubbles. Are we being attacked by a dog? We're being attacked by a dog. This is bad. This is how we die. This is how it all ends. Fucking dogs. Fucking walls. I don't know what I hate more. Dogs or walls. Alright, you sir. I hate you. I hate you all, actually. You know what? There's another way to go. I don't need to deal with any of you. Dogs can't climb walls. Ladders, I mean. I bet you can't climb ladders either. If he starts climbing a ladder, I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Looks like he cannot climb a ladder. So, we're gonna go the long way. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the safe way, but I think we can not draw that guy's attention. Also, I bet we can snipe them out. Problem is, is I don't have a tool for sniping. Actually, I do. Uh oh. Probably straight up kill one of them. I bet I can kill that one with the bow. Okay. Um, let's... Yeah, let's just equip it. Because I, I don't think it can really do anything to us from this distance. And I'm going to be incredibly boring. But we have this place up here. And I really feel like they put this up here specifically for the purpose of us being able to actually shoot things. So let's let's do it. Question is, do you like holy arrows? I mean, kind of. Oh boy. He can spit at us. That is something we need to be aware of. Ah, good. He can death blight us from down there. Alright, well. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is. Problem. Always a brutal animation. All right, well, there go 80,000 runes. Uh, I guess, uh, fair game. Fair. I was trying to, uh, cheese it, and, uh, he was like, no, no, bro. No cheese for you. And I can, uh, I can respect that. All right, so we can actually equip the bow. We can equip three <laughs> weapons. All right, we keep the, uh... We keep the bubbles ready. Um, actually, get its attention with the bow from one of the higher up ones. 
And then maybe I can shoot shoot it with bubbles? I don't know. I don't know. Or I just shoot it with a bow. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Probably overthinking it. I, I, I tend to either chronically underthink things or overthink them, but rarely just correctly think them. It's just how I roll. Alright. So, this time, I'm going to try and do it properly. Not get their attention. So if we can sneaky sneaky past the one over there. And not fall off the side. That would be swell. Are you are you aggro? Nope. He is set to mind his own business. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um then I Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get a height advantage and be able to shoot at them. Actually, I totally can. I can totally do that from here. This may be even better. Alright. Honestly, I don't need to do anything more. I just need to get its attention. And then from there, we can we can give it the bubbles. Or it's going to get stuck in a tree. Come on, pal. You can do better than that. I know you can. Hey. Oh, I think that dealt a lot of damage because we hit it in the face. I mean, if you're going to get stuck in a tree, I'm going to shoot you. While you're stuck in a tree. Alright, he's been poisoned. Nice headshot. Let's aim a little bit up that way. That way we can potentially get even more headshots. Yeah. Oop. Or we're gonna miss. Down he goes. Question is... Let me get a beat on the other one. Can I shoot him through this tree? I see him down there. Yes! Perfect. Problem is, is I think this guy's not going to get stuck on anything. Maybe he is. Maybe he's just, just as dumb as his pal. I don't seem to be hitting him either. Come on. There we go. <laughs> they're uh they're not very smart. <laughs> I'm sure this is incredibly exciting to watch. Um but I'm not fighting Big boy and little boy at the same time, all right? I'm just not. I'm doing it this way. Okay, I think I'm going to drop down and uh, we'll give him the bubble treatment if he comes too close. All right, you coming? I've got bubbles for you. You like bubbles? Have some bubbles. No, not on that one. Oh, get wrecked. I didn't even need the second bubble burst. Okay. So, sneak up. Question is... Question answered. You're gonna be like, does splashing through the water... make noise? Apparently it made enough noise to wake it up. However, not enough noise to alert it to my presence. That is interesting. Do I risk getting close? I give it the schwack? I'm gonna move real quiet. Like, real quiet. And hope that this works. If I can get a big ol' wallop on it, I think we're close enough. Yep. Ow. Alright, now what we just need to do is not die. That would be the ideal. Here, and, uh... 
don't know what you're doing now. Okay, you're spraying death blight literally everywhere. All right. Okay, I don't know what that is. It's... Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Remember, he's also got a grab. The second he starts trying to grab us... I, I don't, oh god, that's just death mist everywhere. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay, that's fine. And some bubbles. Okay, that was painful. But we also tagged him pretty good, so we should be alright. Just not get grabbed here. Give him another one. Down he goes! That's how we deal with it. And we get some rejuvenating boluses out of it, which is no small deal, actually, because that costs golden centipedes. And a spithing stone eight. Alright, what else? There better be something else here. Hey! What the fuck? Is it because I'm... No. Uh, that's weird. Seems like a bug. Normally when you see one of these little obelisks, you can summon. Apparently you can't summon. That's weird. What do we got here? Ah. Purple item. Okay, glove wart bell picker three. Or glove wart picker bell bearing three. Interesting. So we can buy better uh, glove warts, which I don't think I need. Um, the ghost glove warts I think I need for uh, Finley. I do want to upgrade Finley. Try, try her out, because she's got some cool lore, and I fucking love Clean Rot Knights. They just look awesome. And their moveset's pretty cool. I know I did not enjoy fighting them in uh, the Halleck Tree. But, generally speaking, I rather like them as enemies. Pretty cool. Weird, but that did nothing. Oh, we're still getting Death Flight all the way out here. Oh, boy. It's dead. Oh, are we nearly? Is there anything else here? Another sacrificial twig. This one dropped it again. Yeah. I don't know if it's this one specifically that drops it, or if it's just a low random chance and we just happen to get very coincidental luck that the same one would drop it both times. But I think I've gotten everything that there is to get here. Um... Kind of the same issue that I had with uh, the Halig Tree with the loot spacing. Would have liked some more interesting loot. Maybe something to signify what these guys are, actually. Instead of bell bearings, because bell bearings don't really... They, they don't have any lore on them. Now all we can really do is go back, so... Where was it? It was this one, right? The Tempest facing balcony, right. So there's the Tempest in the center. Because I've explored both sides. Gone all the way that way. Um, that was runes from where I just died. Yeah, there's nothing to be regained there, so... I guess we go around. So I guess the whole idea is you loop around Faramazula. Which is pretty cool. But uh, we're going to do that in the next episode. Because uh, it's been going on for over an hour. And uh, this is a pretty cool place to end the episode. I... Uh, I like this area so far. The one dragon fight was pretty wonky. Everything else has been pretty fine. Pretty fun. Um, I like the beast men enemies. I even like the worm face enemies. They're they're very intimidating and um, cool, but not like I don't find them to be unfair or anything. You just gotta you just gotta prepare for death blight. Keep your distance. Close when you can. Get the damage in where you can. So yeah, that's uh, a step up from the Halleck tree. I will say. I'm enjoying Faramazula thus far. Alright guys, leave it a like if you've enjoyed it, and uh, once again, my apologies for the delay in between the previous episode and the episodes before then. There, uh, yeah, it just took a long time to beat Melania, and there is probably going to be a significant delay between this episode and the next one as well, because I am going on vacation into the Black Forest. Um, so I <laughs> obviously won't be able to record anything. But, uh, yeah. 
then I will catch you in the next one, which will probably be out in a week. Half a week, depending on if I'm able to record one more after. Anyways. I'll catch you in the next one. I already said that multiple times. Bye, guys.